<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Gary and I'm uh, filming this at my shop in New York on Long Island. Uh, this is my first uh, live YouTube video and I hope you guys are going to like it. And of course I ask that you please uh, subscribe uh, to and like my channel. Um, what we're going to be doing here is this is a 2006 Ford Freestar uh, with an AX4N or 4F50N transaxle. And the complaint on this was delayed forward, delayed reverse, and it had a harsh 1 2 shift. Uh, of course, that all points to low pressure. And uh, what's going on with this one is when the transmission was dropped out of the car. Uh, the technician had called me over and showed me that there was uh, water in the transmission. So looks like the radiator went bad, causing all the water to go into the trains. So we're going to do a tear down inspection and I'm going to do an overhaul and see what we got. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is tearing this down. Uh, I'm going to do this in a couple of parts. Uh, the first part, I'm going to uh, chunk it down. And uh, as I go along, I'll explain. And then we're going to go, uh, part two would we'll probably be drum by drum, uh, part by part. Uh, I don't know, I just heard that um, YouTube uh, may not let you make long videos when you're first starting out, so I'm going to try to do this in two parts. Okay, so this is an AX4N. We're going to take all the stuff off the outside first. And just to let you know, you see this area right here. If this was an AX4S, there would be a servo here, but there is no servo here, so this makes this an AX4N. Okay, so we're going to take all external stuff off first. This here is your MLPS, or digital range sensor. This right here is your input speed sensor. This is the overdrive servo cover. And this is your vehicle speed sensor. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble all the external stuff first. Two, three, four, five T30 bolts and two 10 millimeter bolts. Let's see if I can get on with this one.
is off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the pan off, try cover, and then we'll expose the valve valve. PC solenoid, this is your lockup solenoid, and shift solenoids one, two, three, and your transmission temp sensor. So we're going to disconnect each one. And just a note, it's pretty easy to cross the connectors on these, so you may want to take a picture of it, write down wire colors. So when you hook these back up, everything is correct. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take the valve body off. Got a couple of long bolts here. A couple of long bolts here, there's four of them. Pump shaft, two seals here, two seals here. This is the link that hooks the manual valve. Okay, now the next thing we're going to take off is all the bolts around here. That will take off the channel plate. Behind the channel plate are going to be accumulators and a chain. So let's start by taking off. 10 millimeter. Out. Oh, a couple more. This one, this one. Now there is an 
sockets. Okay, so the accumulators, we have up here the 1 2 accumulator, we have the 2 3 accumulator here, we have the neutral reverse accumulator, and we have the 3 4 accumulator here. So you want to keep the springs where they belong. Okay, now I'm going to pull this back up. This is your chain. Chain's a little loose, that's going to get changed. And we'll take this out. Sprockets, you got a, a ring here and a ring here. Okay, next we're going to take out the center support. There's a plastic washer here on this support. Okay, so next is going to take out the center support, and there's a bunch of drums and a band behind that. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to pry a little on the linkage arm. Get behind the support. Pop it up. Like that. Okay. So here is your center support washer. This is your overdrive band drum with the spring. This is your forward drum, forward clutch, intermediate clutch, and here is your third clutch. Washer. This is your overdrive band. Yeah. 